CBD and THC do two totally different things in your body. That means the CBD that you might get online somewhere versus THC that's coming from cannabis are really two entirely different things. I mean, the only real common denominator that they have is they both ultimately act upon what are called CB1 and CB2 receptors in the body. But what's interesting is that CBD doesn't even directly affect those receptors. I'll make some sense of all this in just a second, but first off, let me just quickly explain what CBD is. CBD is usually an oil that's derived from maybe hemp or some other cannabis compound, okay? So what the whole purpose of CBD is, is to give you the non-psychoactive components of cannabis, but with all the positive effects. But what we have to look at is that it really acts on a whole different system in the body. We have something in our bodies known as endocannabinoids. Endocannabinoids are our body's own natural way of stimulating the CB1 and CB2 receptors basically to modulate inflammation or to modulate our nervous system or to really have different effects on the body. The CB1 receptors directly affect our brain and directly affect our nervous system, whereas the CB2 receptors directly affect our immune system. But the interesting thing is, is that CBD oil doesn't actually affect these at all. What it does is it stimulates the production of our body's natural endocannabinoids, and it slightly changes the structure of the CB1 and CB2 receptors. So I know this sounds kind of crazy and I'm throwing a lot of weird acronyms and stuff at you, but all I'm trying to say is that CBD oil allows your body to naturally create more of these endocannabinoids. Whereas cannabis, you are directly putting a compound in your body that's going to directly affect these receptors. So let's look at it like this. We have CB1 that affects your brain and your nervous system. CB2 that affects your immune system and inflammation, okay? When you consume THC or cannabis, that THC directly stimulates the CB1, okay? It directly affects it. It binds with it perfectly and it affects it and it stimulates it, which is why you get the nervous system response and why you get the psychotropic response, okay? That's exactly what's going on. There's very little stimulation or very little effect on the actual CB2 receptors. There is a little bit, so you do get some immune response, but most of it is psychological. Most of it is nervous system related. That's why you end up getting pain relief. That's why you end up getting the effects that are gonna help you feel better, simply because you're stimulating that CB1 receptor, okay? Then when we look at CBD oil, okay, which is something that's legal in most places and not that hard to get, CBD oil directly affects the CB1 receptor in an entirely different way. You see, it is what is called a negative allosteric modulator of the CB1. What does that mean? Well, it means that it changes the CB1's actual structure. So it makes it more receptive to endocannabinoids. Now it sounds kind of crazy. There's a lot to follow. A lot of CB, CBD, CB1, CB2. But basically, if you look at this one receptor that THC or cannabis usually stimulates, whenever you take CBD, it changes that structure so that CB1 receptor doesn't look the same anymore. What it does do is it makes it more enticing to your body's natural endocannabinoids, okay? So we're talking about andandamide and all these natural things that just help you feel good and feel relaxed and feel just a general sense of well-being, okay? So when you change that structure, you're making it more receptive to that. But what you're also doing is you're making it less receptive to THC. So a lot of times what people will do is they will actually combine CBD with THC because CBD blocks the ability for THC to really have that much of an effect. So if you're looking at actual different cannabis strains, for instance, like this is a true legitimate thing, even whether it's recreational, whether it's medicinal or whatever, if you're looking at different cannabis strains, you'll see ones that are higher THC and lower CBD content, or you'll see ones that are higher CBD and lower THC content. Whole different ball game altogether. The higher the CBD content, the less the THC is able to have an effect. So those kind of compounds, those kinds of cannabis, will be ones that are gonna actually affect your pain signals. They're gonna affect your immune system. They're gonna just help you feel good without the psychotropic effect. Then on the other hand, higher THC, lower CBD, means that you have more THC, less CBD that's changing the receptor, and more of the THC that's able to directly affect the psychotropic portion. So basically, THC makes you high, CBD doesn't. In fact, CBD stops you from getting high. So when you actually look at the difference between CBD and THC, people always say that they're so similar and it's just, oh, it's like a legal form of THC or a legal form of cannabis. It's actually the anti-cannabis in a way. It's like the anti-THC. 
It's the other side of the equation that stimulates your body's natural production of these endocannabinoids and allows your body to use them naturally. Now, they're all phytonutrients in a way, okay? They're all like kind of psychotropic phytonutrients, so they all, you know, they're still derived from plants, so I don't want to say that one is artificially stimulating something, but the real honest way to look at it is THC is more of the drug. CBD is more of encouraging your body's natural production of something that is already existent. And that CBD is going to slow the absorption of the actual drug. So I hope that this clears some things up. Pretty straightforward, but like I said, a lot of acronyms to make it all make sense. So CB1, CB2 receptors. CBD oil doesn't affect them. THC does. That's all we really have to remember. At the end of all of this, make sure that you let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. And if you like this CBD series that I've done for the last few months, let me know. And maybe I'll do another deep dive series on another compound or another food for a series of months. I'll see you in the next video.